What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Cowboys Fan 0406, coming at you with another fucking video. Alright, man, so what I'm gonna fucking talk about in this video is just some shit that's going down here in San Antonio. Like, it's some weird, crazy shit that I've never experienced, never heard of before, you know. It's just, it's just weird and crazy. And um, I've been thinking about getting myself a fucking handgun. Um, and I don't need no permit to fucking have a handgun. I'm in the fucking state of Texas. I can go to a gun shop and just fucking straight up buy one. And, you know, no big deal or whatever. Because, you know, not a convicted felon. None of that shit, right? Never, none of that. So, anyway, this is what's been going down here the past few weeks uh, here in San Antonio. We've had... A shoot, a, a, a robbery happened at one of the malls here, and then a shooting and a killing happened. And then the following week, we had another shooting. I don't know if it was a robbery, I just know it was a shooting. Um, we had another shooting at one of our other malls, okay? Um, and some of that shit's going down. And then there's this fucking uh, rapist is going around San Antonio, and not even all around, not all, even all around all of San Antonio, he's just going around certain parts, like, there's a part called the Medical Center here in San Antonio, and he, um, started out there, and what he's doing is, he's like, I don't know, I don't, I haven't read the details on what he looks like, and see, here's the thing, the media and the police aren't talking about it, they're not even covering it. I found all this shit out through Facebook and was like, and looked at it like, what the fuck? You know, like, are you fucking serious? And I don't, like, I looked at it. I kind of heard stories about it. And I don't, I think he's a black guy. Um, I'm not sure, but I think he's a black guy. And what he's doing is he's walking around apartment complexes um, in the medical center. And what he's doing is he's finding women that are alone. And either he's waiting till they go into their apartment, knock on their apartment, then try to get in, try to rape them, rob them, whatever. Or, he's seen them at their car by themselves, and he tries to rob them at gunpoint, and then rape them. Um, and now, he's made his way closer to my area. Where I live. Like, literally, I live off of 1604 and Bandera Exit. What happened... It, um, to this one girl that I know that's in one of my classes at school, she lives the next exit down on 604 and the Hausman exit. That's where she lives, right? And so I found this out because one of the guys that's in one of my classes knows her and he told me, you know, this shit happened with her because he, he had asked me if I knew about the rapist that's going on. I was like, yeah, yeah, I know, you know, whatever. He goes, he told me that the girl in our, in our class have been held up at gunpoint trying to get robbed by this dude and found out that he didn't have it that she didn't have anything and then he went and tried to rape her that's sad that sucks um i wish that on no female ever not even on my worst enemies wives never i've never wished that upon anybody okay and here's the thing here's the thing i have a fucking sister right i have a younger sister who goes to one of the uh, universities here in San Antonio. She goes to UTSA. All right. Now, she works there at the school, okay? She's a student, but she also works there. And sometimes she has to work football games. Um, well, there's no more football, but she worked basketball games. She works there, you know, she, she works late sometimes. And granted, this guy's only going to people, to women in apartment complexes, but still, he's in my area now. He... He's right by UTSA because I live like five. If, if I'm straight highway, I'm five minutes away from UTSA. And he lives close. I mean, he, he's striking close. Now he's in my neck of the woods. When he was in medical center, I wanted him to get caught. I wanted the shit to end, but they, we can't seem to catch him. Now he's in my neck of the woods. And you know what? It's frightening for me because, like I said, I have a sister that fucking walks to her truck late at night. Now, granted, it's a big university, and I guess there's always people walking around, but you know what? It only takes one time for shit to happen, and I don't want it to happen, okay? And so, this is my reason on me wanting to get a gun. Now, like I said, I don't need a license to have a gun. I don't need a license to have it registered. I mean, 
uh, yeah, to get it registered, I can just go buy one, get it registered, and I'll have it, okay? Now, see, I was asking my buddy, you know, could I carry it? You know, I got to keep it at home, right, since I don't have a license. He said, no, what I can do is, is I can keep my gun either um, in my house or in my car. Because we have a thing here in Texas, I think it was called Castle Law, which means, Castle Law means I can keep my gun in my house without having, without having any license and I can use it on someone. Okay, now the same thing, that law extends to your vehicle as well. Now, and I asked him, I was like, can I buy a gun and then give it to my sister, you know, and would that count as cops law as well because it's my shit. And I said, well, you know what? I'm, she's on the, I, her and I are on the same insurance. I was like, when she shows her insurance card, my shit's on, my name's on there. My name's on my parents' cars, my car, my, my brother's car, my sister's car, okay? And he goes, it extends to anything with your name on it. I was like, all right, perfect. Council law, that, that perfect. I was like, when she goes to school, I can hand that shit off to her. You know, to keep it, she can't carry it on her. She can just to keep it in the car, which is completely fine. Completely fine. So, I've been thinking about purchasing a weapon, a gun, just to be safe. Because, like I said, there's a bunch of shit that's going down here in San Antonio. And it's, I never have been one to live in fear, one to be scared of some shit, but when it's in your own backyard, and I mean literally, like, it's it's in my area, and you have someone who can be affected by that shit, as close as your sister, you know, someone like, your, you know, a sister, or like a mom or something, or an aunt, or a cousin, girl or whatever, or even a friend, or whatever it is, you know, it, 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 it hits hard, you know what I mean? And so, I was just thinking about buying a gun, um, I'm not gonna be able to buy one at least with, for the next month. I got bills and I got shit I gotta pay. I only got two more payments up to my car, which I want to finish that first before I buy a gun. But I just wanted to share this little information with y'all about what's going down here in San Antonio. Like I said, we've had two shootings uh, at malls. Um, we did have one about six months ago. Again, like I said, it kind of in my area, it was still like a good like 15, 10, 15 minutes away. Um, but it was it was at this place called The Rim, which is by the mall that I live at. They had a shooting there. Um, it's just a whole bunch of shit going down right now here in San Antonio. And yes, they did catch the mall shooters, um, all of them. Um, the only thing they haven't done is catch this rapist which um, I'm hoping they do very soon because last thing that I want is uh, something happening to anyone else and especially something happening to my sister that's the last thing that I want but that's it YouTube that's all I want to talk about about why a reason why it might be why I want to buy a gun um, why I want to have it with me and hand it off to my sister if she needs one or she needs it for her protection because, you know, like I said, I don't need nothing happening to my baby sister. I love the girl. You know, she's my family. And I'd be devastated if anything happened to her. But that's my time, YouTube. I got to go. Peace.